Welcome back. This is Larry Linesby Jr. and this is Tales of Teslon, Episode 5. Uh, this episode is dealing with the world and maps of uh, the world of Teslon, a uh, fantasy world I created for novels, roleplay games, and especially comics. Um, in the beginning, uh, there was many variations of the map. Uh, the first image is basically a, a rough draft of, a, of the first map that I was coming up with. Um, there wasn't very many continents. It was, they were kind of spread out. Um, like I said, this was a, a beginning rough of some locations. Uh, as it continued to grow with the stories and different locations, the map, uh, obviously took a turn and, uh, became very detailed, but there was a lot of land masses and a lot of areas where stories were taking place. Um, I think one of the central, uh, areas was uh, Brycan. It was a continent towards the middle uh, middle of the map lower. There was a lot of uh, stories taking place on that continent uh, and the, uh, the large mass to the right of that map too. Uh, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of areas I had to cover uh, as I started writing uh, the stories and the races and where the races would be like where where elves would be and dwarves would be um it's just interesting to note that there was only uh, a few races in the original uh, uh creation of teslan so when the goddess ishma came and created the world of teslan she had several uh children that were the you know the the beginnings of those races and there was only a few races on Teslan. there was an event that happened uh, where the gods all started warring against each other in different planets and there was portals and slip gates that opened and there was uh, armies that were coming through on different planets and fighting each other and uh, 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 some planets being wrecked and some areas being wrecked to the point where there was refugees well, Ishma took in a lot of refugees from a lot of different planets. Uh, the dwarves came, uh, and there were some elves that came. Uh, humans came. In the beginning, there was only a few races like dragons and uh, uh, the cat people, the Catan, and the Minotai, a Minotaur-type race. Uh, so when these, these other races came, they settled on uh, areas that were kind of desolate uh, but as time grew I started mapping all these areas out uh, and uh, focusing on where the characters would adventure to because I had to uh, as I started writing I was like well I need to understand where they're going to or traveling from or, or where their goal was that they had to travel to and vice versa uh, where I had to uh, have a physical location. I couldn't just like write something and they just show up and, oh, here's a town. I mean, at first that's what I started doing, but then I was like, well, I need to get this, these maps made and uh, so that I would have more reference. So when I would write, it would make more sense. Uh, if, if I had already created the village or the town or the location, ruins, whatever, uh, that it was physically already there on the map, so then I could uh, write more about it and uh, give more details if I knew that it was, was there and already existed. Uh, there have come times where I've had to go back and uh, uh, during a story and there was something hidden or whatever uh, and uh, add that to the map because of, uh, of a story, a storyline. But for the most part, the map has remained uh, pretty constant um, uh, that... It doesn't really change. Uh, I've got a lot of the areas uh, mapped out. Even uh, there's a comic series that me and Robert Johnson will work on later down the line uh, called Outland, which is a continent to the uh, far west of Teslan. Uh, it's kind of like a, a desolate uh, wasteland type uh, scenario over there, which uh, we mapped out and uh, provided storylines and details for that. Um, so there's different areas uh, 
that will play a big role. Like the main storyline will will have the main characters and several of the characters traveling around the entire world in order to complete goals or complete uh, quests and tasks and stuff. I also wanted to do the maps so that if I ever released a Teslon roleplay game, say like for a video game or Dungeons and Dragons type scenario, uh, that I had an actual map of the world to show uh, as an example of the world. So basically a lot of time spent has been over many, many years uh, on each of these locations. Uh, each continent, each portion I have mapped out um, and I've even went so far as to some of the cities going in and started mapping them. Now I did a lot of this by hand. Um, well, made basically all of my maps were drawn by hand, but I did a, did purchase a campaign cartographer uh, years ago and have been trying to uh, fiddle with that to make more uh, professional looking maps. But I kind of like the hand drawn ones because they're more personal. So we'll see how that plays out uh, if I have to uh, alter or do anything um, to uh, make it look more professional. Uh, Definitely for the novels, I wanted to clean, clean up and uh, do all the maps so that eventually they, those would be included in the novels uh, so people would understand too, they physically could see the locations that they're reading about. But as far as the, the, uh, the comics, uh, I might put a few maps in there. Uh, I'm not sure at this point. Um, obviously in the comics, it's more visual where they're at. So we'll see. But I just wanted to share with you uh, people uh, the world of Teslan uh, uh, maps. And uh, so you could get a general idea of the work I put in and, and obviously the locations uh, throughout Teslan. So thanks for stopping in. And as always, uh, take care. And uh, I'm glad you uh, took the time to check this out. Uh, take it easy.